Hey, what's up, guys? Bellatron B-Man here, and as you can probably tell, it is a Lego video. And today, we're going to be building a Lego Hollow Knight. So, um, yeah, here he is. He's pretty simple. There's his nail. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how to build him today. So, yeah, let's get started. Real quick, guys, before we get started, if this video gets five likes, then I will show you how to build, um, the, f um, ouch, the ghost and a bench. So, remember, if this video gets five likes, then I will show you how to build, um, the phantom and, um, the bench. So yeah, now let's get started on Hollow Knight. Alright, let's start out with the helmet of Hollow Knight. Alright, so what you're going to want to need first is a 4x4 piece that looks like this. So, yeah. Then, you're going to want to get a 2x4 uh, brick in white. Just put that right in the center to fill it out. Now, um... You're wanna, gonna want to get a 1x4 brick oops, in white and two 1x4 plates in white. Stack those up like so. Sorry, this is a new recording setup because my desk is all messy. So you're going to put it on like that and do the same on the top and then put that back there and then for the front of the face you're gonna want to get um, a 1 by 2 um, brick in white um, two modern headlight bricks in white put those on the side just like that and then to get a 1 by four plate and white and put that on top so you get this um, looks pretty good and then you're gonna get I know these are kinda rare and put that on right there just like that and I know these are kinda rare but get two of these one by one black rounds and they're tiles, so they don't have the stud on top. They're one by one round plates in black. I know they're kind of rare, but you can also use studs with inverted headlight bricks. So it should look like this. And now, um, for the center, get either a two by two. Um, plate or just two one by two plates in white. Put those in the center. I'm actually gonna take these off because it's easier to operate. Oh crap, focus camera. So put those like this in the center and then put um, two um, one by two plates on either side just like this alright and then get yourself four um, new headlight bricks so yeah get four of those and then arrange them like this so there's two on each side then get two jumper plates and focus camera and put them like that like that so you got this and then for the horn get one of these pieces and then this piece I don't know what it's called but it looks like this 
and get this and get those both in white and put them together like that. Make two of those and put them on either side so it creates the horned effect. Now put the things back on. Um, I just took those off because it seemed easier. Oh yeah, um, you're also going to want to put a um, one by one plate on the bottom of the face. So it's like the back, but with the headlight bricks. So, oops. So it's got one on the bottom and one on the top, as you can see. And then do that, and then that's that. Then get yourself either a 4x4 four four plate in white or two, um, 2 by 4s in white and they have to be in pl um, plate and just put those on just like that and then get yourself two 1 by 4 tiles in white um, put them right here or if you have it then get two um, focus camera Two um, two by four plates in white, and place those on. But that's all I have, and this is the head. Oh wait, no, I forgot to do something. All right, so what you're actually gonna want to do for Hollow Knight is actually instead of um, putting the one by four on the bottom and on the top. You gotta put them both on top. So it looks like it. So you have it like this. Put that on. And then boom. There's Hollow Knight's helmet or face. I don't know. Yeah, let me zoom out. There you go. Looks pretty cool. Now, focus onto the body and nail. Okay, so for the body, you're going to want to get um, one of these cones that look like this. It's a 4x4 four four and then like a 5x5 five five on the bottom. I don't know. Focus camera. Or like a 3x3. Three three. So put that down. And then... Um, get two of these one by two um, ball and socket joints um, with the ball on it and put those on top don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you got that and then for the bottom of it so turn this over get either two one by two um plates in black or a 2 by 2 in black and then just put those on like that and that so that's that and then get an, a black under tile and two more ball um ball socket joints that look like this the ball ones and not the sockets. Oops. There goes the under tile. And then put them on. Oops. Here. I'll show you. Um. Put them on like this so the under tile's on the bottom. And then turn to the bottom of the thing. And. Put it on just like that. So, yeah, you got the base of the body. Now, for the limbs, take a 1x2 socket joint. I keep on dropping it. That looks like this. Get a 1x1. One one, shoot, stop dropping. A 1x1 one one black tile. 
put that on like that and then get one of these pieces in black put it just like that make th um, three more of those so you have four in total and these will be the legs and arms so boom 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 just like that and then um get two more um one by two black plates stack them onto each other and put them right there you'll see why in a second put that off to the side now it's time for the cape for the center um part of the cape get a one by two clip in the center that looks like this in black then sorry get um, two of these pieces that are one by two with the um, receiving end of the claw piece stack those on just like that and um, make sure that the top one this one that's on top faces out and the bottom one goes on there and then get the um, one by two clip piece that has the claw that looks like not like this but like that and just clip that on so there's the center of it place that off to the side now get one of these one by one receiving end of the clip pieces I know these are kinda rare get one of these um, one by two clip pieces put it on just like that then get another one of these um, one by two clip pieces put it on like that this can either be in dark gray or black I had them all in black so that's what I did and then get the receipt uh, one by two receiving end of the clip and put it on just like that make two of those and then put them on at the bottom and then go like that and yeah there is the back part of the cape let it focus now get your body get this and just pop it on oops oops hold on let me put that back on all right, my mistake. Um, you actually want the center one to look like this. So the res the one the one by two receiving socket is on top and not on bottom. I made that mistake. And just put that on just like that. Make it look like that right there. Now attach the head like so. So there, there's Hollow Knight. In all of his glory. Now he can't stand very well. So, yeah. Now it's time to build his nail. Um, get one of these lightsaber hilts. Um, this can be in any color, or either in the gray that I have or a black. And then get two of these, um, one by one black cone pieces. Put the, that just like this, so stack them on, and then get this piece, I have, oops, I have no idea what it's called, but it looks like this, perfect for a nail, and then just stick that in there, and then put that right there, boom, you got the nail. Also, um, for the back of Hollow Knight's cape, I forgot to mention, get a stud, and place it right there so that and also get one of these um, one by one black clip pieces and put that either in his hand so he can wield his nail I'll show you what that looks like so he can either wield his nail or this is so you don't have excessive pieces Put it on his back, just 
like that. Just like that. Actually, this part needs to be like that, so... Yeah, he's got his nail on his back. And you know what? I'm feeling generous, so I'm going to show you guys how to build the bench. But remember, so I'm going to lower the likes to three likes for the phantom. So, yeah, three likes for the phantom, and here's the bonus for the bench. Alright guys, so for the bench, what you're going to need is a... Four by a four by ten. All right. So, yeah, put that off to the side. Get yourself a two by six plate, a four by six plate, um, another two by six plate. I didn't have another one. For this build, so I just use four one by threes and another two by six plate. Put those all just like that, and then put this in the middle of it. Put that all down just like this, so it looks like this. All right. Then get four. Um, one by one black plates, put them on the corners. Oops, I accidentally bumped the camera. So it looks like this, so it's all on the corners. And then, um, either get a one by eight plate or two one by four plates and just put them over here. Just like that, so you have a uh, one by eight still to fill, and then to fill that one by eight, um, get a one by eight plate. I used one that has this because it's it doesn't really matter, and I might change it in the future. Put that on there. This is I don't know why I sound like I have a country accent, but I don't. Um, so put that on there, and then either get a 1x6 tile, or because the Hollow Knight benches are different in the game. So I'm using three of these 1x2 um, tile grill pieces. Put that on there, there. Wait, whoops. Mess that up. There. There. Oops, voice crack. Um, there, so you have that. Now, um, get a 1x6 tile, put that on there. Get another 1x6 tile, put that right there, so they're on the ends. Then, get yourself five 1x8 tiles, and just place them throughout. So you got this, looks pretty nice. Now um, to actually make it stand, put that off to the side, um, get a either a 1x1 one one plate in black or you could get a 2x3, I mean a 1x2 plate or a 2x3 plate. Um, I chose the 2x3 plate because it adds a little bit more stability to the bench. And then get yourself two of these and just put them on like that. Turn it over. Put it right in the center. Make another one of those and put it right there. But make sure it's mirrored. So it's Standing up now. Now for the back of the bench. Place that off to the side. Get yourself a a one by one. Excuse me. A one by one brick. 
um, one of these pieces. I have no clue what they're called. Just place that on the bottom. And then get yourself a black stud. Put that there. Then get yourself a black cheese slope. Put it right there. Get yourself another black cheese slope and put it right there. Make two of those. Focus. Make two of those. And also get this piece. This um, 1x4 railing piece in black. And just connect them. Just like that. And you could put a 1x2 there, but I didn't because I don't have any. And then just place that. Where these are just like that. And now, if you position Hollow Knight right, then he will be able to sit on it. Just give him give me a minute to position him. Come on. I know you wanna sit and rest. There. See, he's sitting. But it's very fragile, so don't knock it over. Okay, please. There. He's sitting. See? Sitting. Alright, well, guys, um, remember, get this video. Oops focus camera to three likes and I will show you how to build um, the phantom so yeah um, yeah sorry for that random cut guys um there was someone at the door and it was a package from fangamer.com um, I suggest that you um, Go visit their website, because they have a lot of cool things. And I tried to open it on the package on camera, but it, my camera wouldn't record. Because I guess it ran out of battery or something, so I let it charge for a bit. But um, I can't seal the package again, because it was in like... Here, I'll go get the package. Just give me a minute. It was in this package, alright, and guess what it was? I totally forgot I ordered this. It's a Hollow Knight plushie. And as you see, the nail is sheathed in the back of him, but guess what? It's magnetic. It'll fall off because of all the great, um... Because of the force of the magnet isn't very strong, so it comes off a little easy. But you can also attach it to his hand. And since the magnet is so heavy, it looks like he's dragging it. But if you hold it right, then you can get some poses. So yeah, this is a very um, good quality figure. Or I mean plush. Um, you see there's the magnet right there. Um, let's take that off. Look at the cape. It's very silky. And you can, like, drape it over his arm so he looks like he is in the game, running. Just like that. Um, his head is very squishy. And his mandibles up here, um, are kind of off, but that's fine. You won't really notice it that much. But yeah, you can also get him in a challenging pose. Let me show you. Like, when he challenges people in the game, look at that. You can get him like that without touching him. So, yeah. Um, that's the Hollow Knight plush that came from Fangamer.com. Um, so, yeah. Visit their website. I'm not at all sponsored by them, but it's still cool. Because in the package... 
you get, um, here, let me show you. It's all right over here. You get a card. Um, I got an Undertale card, which is pretty cool. Um, you get a pan flipped of all their products, products, and there's a front and a back. Um, get a sticker. I have no idea what game that's from. If you do, um, post it in the comments. And then you also get a pin, which is cool. Um, I got a warp pipe from Super Mario um, Bros. I thought it was originally like this, because if you look at the back, it look it's like that. I so I thought it was like this, and I thought, and then I turned it over, and it's like, oh, it's a pipe from Super Mario. So yeah, um, go to fangamer.com, cause they are a really cool website. Here, it's, it's right there. Fan Gamer. I'm not at all sponsored, but it's still really cool to go there. So, yeah. Um, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.